A planned increase in tariffs on steel and aluminum imports is drawing concern from the World Trade Organization. President Trump's proposal triggered a response from Canada, the EU, Mexico, Australia and China. And the WTO is clearly concerned about the potential for escalation. Michelle Rook talked to farmers at the Commodity Classic about how a trade war could hurt agriculture, especially with China. Uncertainty about trade under the Trump administration continues with recent tariffs on Chinese imports of steel and aluminum, leaving agriculture concerned about a possible trade war. That's especially true for the soybean industry as China is its number one customer. You know, scares us to death because, you know, 60 percent of our soybeans are exported and China takes a uh, $14 billion worth of, of soybeans. ESA leaders see Chinese tariffs on U.S. beans would be devastating to the market. Well, I think it would be very negative in the short term, and it would take two to three or four years before we could capture, recapture that market back again. Corn farmers have also faced trade disruptions in the last several months with Chinese tariffs on U.S. DDGs and ethanol, and they hope corn isn't next. In a trade war, if, if they would start putting tariffs on things or, uh, you know, tariffs on things coming out of the country, that would be uh, detrimental to the U.S. It'll affect farmers' bottom line. He also remembers the corn market reaction to China's cancellations tied to mere 162. We saw, you know, in the Viptera, we, we have contracts with them and, and they uh, prefer not to honor those contracts. Ag Secretary Senator Purdue says there's reason for anxiety, but he's hopeful they can protect agriculture. We need to have uh, efforts that uh, make sure that agriculture is not harmed in a way that would be uh, uh, hurtful in any kind of uh, tariff negotiations. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Week. The president of the European Commission also says he'll bring forward a proposal for WTO-compatible countermeasures against the U.S.